News tonight about Senator John McCain as he battles brain cancer in Arizona. Senator McCain revealing some of his final wishes, naming who he wants at his funeral. President Trump, who has had a volatile relationship with McCain, not on the list. The senator also with at least one political regret. Here's ABC Stephanie Ramos. Tonight, Senator John McCain reading from his final memoir as he continues his battle with brain cancer. I have some things I'd like to take care of first, some work that needs finishing, and some people I need to see. As he also plans for his own funeral, according to the New York Times, those closest to McCain have informed the White House that the current plan is for Vice President Mike Pence to attend the service, but not President Trump. In recent weeks, the Times reporting McCain has been joined by close friends and family, including former Vice President Joe Biden. Despite Biden refusing to comment on speculation he might make a 2020 presidential run, McCain encouraging him to, quote, not walk away from politics. The senator also expressing regret from his own 2008 presidential campaign that he chose Sarah Palin to be his running mate instead of longtime friend, former Connecticut Senator Joe Lieberman. This morning, the 81-year-old's son-in-law said McCain doing well. is doing he's, well. He's talking, he's uh, chatty, and he's uh, walking around. It's, look, uh, this is a terrible disease. In the restless wave out later this month, McCain details one of his final wishes. Before I leave, I'd like to see us recover our sense that we are more alike than different. McCain hasn't been on Capitol Hill much since late last year, but he remains involved and engaged. Tom. And our thoughts and prayers with the McCain family along with our co-worker, Megan. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.